what is up guys it's the furious werewolf here again and um i know i've changed i've changed a bit uh i'm finally wearing my bandana looking killer my eyes have changed a bit that's because uh nmg replaced them because that you know they were trash and i got you know new mesh and everything like that but there was a problem if you can see i already looked pretty uneven but I put the left eye the left eye where the right eye was supposed to go so the the red eye was supposed to be on the right and the blue eye was on the left and it it kind of looks goofy but uh of course like the red eye now more but uh I'm looking handsome I'm looking fresh and um I'm here to do the intro so Today is going to be different from, uh, what do you call it, a regular, um, my regular YouTube video because I'm going to be teaching you a tutorial today. It's going to be a tutorial about, um, how to use gel pens, not just for highlights, like white, white gel pens, um, where lighting goes and what a background in that time of day or just the background can affect the lighting of the character and the blending and the shading and all that like let's take for example you have a sunset you and you want the sunset to be the main focus you would do the character in like black or something because if you look at real life the in this in the sunset is so bright human eyes can't see two things as bright in a way like if there's a really bright sunset you're not going to release this trees are going to look black versus at, at daytime the trees look normal the trees look much lighter than i don't know the sky in a way but um i'm explaining it wrong but i'm just gonna show you so um hope you enjoy this video and um yeah, so let's get into it, yo. I'm out of here, baby. What's up, guys? It's NMG here. And um, this tutorial right here is going to be about rain and how to use uh, gel pens in a different way than just highlights and the many things you can do with them. So, um, yeah. Now, th we're going to start with rain first, with a character and with no character. So, when people draw rain, they usually just do raindrops, which I think it looks it looks very unrealistic. And not even realistic, it, it's, you know, they do like, what if you had a blue background, because it's, I don't know, a very dark day or something. And, but the raindrops themselves are blue. I just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't look right, right? And this way is so much simpler, it'll save you so much time, and it just looks overall better. So uh, let's get into it. So what you'll need for this is your your drawn thing, and if you're thinking, whoa, how did you get this shading on here? I'm good. That's that's a different tutorial. I'm going to show you in a bit. But right now, just the the thing you want to have rain on. Um, get it like if you have a your you know your uh you're drawing ready for rain get it ready and uh i would do this yeah you do this after you're done with the piece well not done for like for the rain step so i've got this character to show you but anyway this is how you do it so um uh just like this and it de depends like if your rain's coming this way you know do your job pen like that if your rain's coming down like a shower i wouldn't just do it straight like this i would do it like coming because that a shower is not just straight it's like shoo. but um yeah my rain's gonna be coming this way and i'm not just gonna do the same um strokes like the same length because that would look unrealistic i'm gonna do some that looks parted and some really long some really short and just just cover that thing, man. Uh, 
And the more rain you add, I mean, the more, if, you're, if it's just a light drizzle, then just add a light drizzle. But if it's like pouring, then have absolutely no mercy on that paper, man. All right, so that's the uh, technique was just the background. And this, this would be better if you don't, this only works if your background has a color. Um, or like don't make it a really, really, really light color because then you can't see the rain, obviously, because the gel pen's white. So, and now we're gonna show you a character. Um, Cause there's, there's different things you wanna do with it. Now the rain is, coming from the back and it's also hitting the character coming from the front but for this i'm going to show if you look at rain as a picture and it's like really raining there there's there's the droplets are like creating mist mist in a way so i just take my uh uh you can use a white crayon white pencil uh and basically like the strokes are like they start hard and then they you know, start hard and then loosen up, like, like, take that hard grip off. And it creates this very misty effect. And it also matters what direction the rain's going. Again, my rain's, my rain direction is going this way. So. And it might be unnoticeable to you guys, but... It's kind of the key because you don't want it. It's kind of like you have to look for it. And it creates this mist because in mist, you it's kind of hard to see. All right, now I have time for the rain. Um, I'm going to start with the background. So it's, it's, you know, it's not hitting the character. Oh, oh also, uh, to make it... Watch, I'll get into that later. But, um, so this is, that's the, uh, background rain. And now, to make the character look like he's actually getting rained on, you're just going to do little, little specks like this to actually look like the rain's pitter-patting on him. And don't make them the same size. You can make some large, you can make some extremely small. You know, to just give it the more organic look. All right, now, and then now you want to add some rain droplets to look like he's soaked. And you can just do that by, um, whoop, and then a little highlight in it. And some can be dripping off, like, like that. And then, and also you can add those highlights in there. Like I'm gonna add some on his beans, his toe paws, whatever you call it, animals have. I don't actually know what this, well, this dude's a Sharana heart, which is um a creature I made up. They're like little fairy things and he's just going crazy. So I'm gonna add uh, raindrops. Look like he's soaked and now, and now for, to make it look like it's actually, he's actually getting hit by the rain, do little splashes like this, and then you can add some coming off like that, like, um, again, not, not all the same, because that's, we don't want it all the same, and... Yeah, and now for the um, now for the uh, floor ground, it's the same thing. The ground's getting rained on, so I love drawing rain. If you if you guys didn't know, that's why I'm giving it a whole tutorial by itself because something about rain, I just love. I feel like no one really appreciates it. They always want to go inside. Oh, boo-hoo, it's raining. And I feel like it's so important because like flowers, the reason rain is just really helps, you know, flowers grow and stuff. So um, 
and flowers and plants and crops and vegetable. And it's just so beautiful being out there, being rained on, getting soaking wet. And especially at nighttime, where you walk down and the street lights illuminate just how much rain's coming down on you. It's, I don't know, it's a thrilling experience in my opinion. So this is the rain. I hope you guys, I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see better what I did. This is with a character, and this is just rain back black. Now, I'm going to show you what you can do fading with a gel pen, and in just like how it can be. It can, you can really like if you had a very dark background, or the dark, the background starts, starts light in it, and it goes down like that, like into a darker. This is just. And you want to add highlights because now that you've added darkness, you can't really tell. Like, you still want to add details, but then you feel like it's going to mess up your dark layer. I'll teach you um, how to work something out so you can still see detail, but it looks like a black background or like a fading background. So you want to get yourself, like, I'm going to do a tree because it's a perfect example. And so you're going to take... Um, um, you're going to take a dark, like a really dark marker, a, a dark marker, a medium dark marker, and a, uh, a light dark marker, which is gray. I'm using gray. I'm just testing off to the side to see which is... Um, which is um going to work for this. There we go. Now I need a really dark marker. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so you're going to take your dark marker first. And like, I'm going to show you with this. Like a tree. You're going to go to a point where you want the, the dark, dark marker to fade, right? Just like blending. Um, then you're going to take your medium dark marker, and you're going to put it where you want that to end. And as you can see, you can't see anything, basically, now. But we're going to fix that. Just blend it out. Okay, now this is where, and this, you know, this will be in the background, so you really can't see it. And now you're going to take your gel pen, and you're going to draw the features on it. Like, that is, you know, on pine trees, you can see all the, the different layers of it. You're going to do that in regular gel pen, white. Just like this. And now you're thinking, well, now it now it pops too much. Like, well, let it dry. But you're thinking, well, now it doesn't look like it's really in a dark background because it pops, right? But I'm going to show you how to fix that. <clears throat> I'm going to wait till it dries because we don't want it to smear or anything. Okay, so now you're going to do in the same order. You're going to... um. Take your darkest marker and you're going to go uh, over where you want your darkest marker to end. And then you're going to take your medium marker. You're going to go over to where you want it to end. And I'm going to leave that. Now it looks like it's faded, right? It looks like it's faded. Like this could be... Uh, I could I should probably do this. This could be uh on a a dark background. I'm gonna show you another example. But and the moon's hitting it, but it's the background's kind of like fading into darkness because the moon illuminates some parts where it illuminates the top. That's why 
it's like white where you can really uh, like it's illuminating it's showing the shape but then as it fades to the bl into the blackness of the background like at night it the it actually fades but do you see how you can still see the details but they're faded so it just creates this really cool illusion and this part is illuminated by the moon and even without the background i st i really do think that it really does look like a moon shining down on it and this was kind of like a crappy example but through, through the highlights and this is how you use gel pens in different ways and just highlights i guess you can fade them down to you know this is really black this is and then it kind of goes into well it's still faded but it's kind of white and that's pure white and then there's a highlight where the moon hits so like that so you could do that with um trees you could do that with characters like i don't know you could do with the hand where this part of the hand is just like faded into the blackness but this is illuminated by a light and you could do this same technique of fading it down so I'm going to show you now how to do a how to do snow in the same effect. So I'm just going to use uh, my dark colors because you can't really see the green unless you really want them to see the green, which I don't want because it's really this is like a really really dark background. So I'm going to start with my darkest color and you know go to the point I don't want to lay that anymore. Second darkest color. Oh, sorry, that was my lightest marker. Uh, second darkest color and blend that in. This is why I said you should you should watch this video with the concept of blending before you use this tutorial because you kind of know you got to know how to use it and blend that baby in. And I'll take your lightest marker and color and blend. And now, take your gel pen, make, draw the details you want in there. Again, pine trees are just a perfect example. Lethal Chris does this amazing. He had a, a tutorial on how to draw um, trees just like this. This is where I learned the fading technique from him. And I'll do a, I don't know, I'll do a moon in the background and... Oh, this is snow, so I'll show you how to do the snow in a second. But, um, so the snow is, you're you're going to draw dots in the sky, but not the same shapes. Like one big, bigger, one smaller, and just like that. And do it all over. You could do it over. I'll do, you should do it like, like actually over the trees after. But the moon's in the sky, and now we're going to do the same technique where... Dang it, my cat dropped. We're going to take the, we're going to do the same technique and we're going to fade it out. I hope you can see this, guys. I hope it's not too small. Fade it out. And then I'm going to lighten it up here. We'll like add the highlight where the moon shines down I highlight the moon gives on this side and now for the snow all you're gonna do is add like a snowy shape and color it in like a kind of like a drippy shape and color it in like snow on top of trees this is kind of like a really bad example but This this pen is almost dead because I abuse it because it's just, again, it's so helpful. And then I'm going to add that snow effect everywhere. And um, here you go. That is, um, that's how you draw snow, snowy trees, how you can fade. You see, you can still see it, but it looks so naturally faded in. And you could still see like this highlight, but it's so naturally faded in. And that's how you draw snow. And this is kind of a bad example for snow, but you'll get it. Like the snow cover tops of the trees. Anyway, this was my writing study and how to use gel pens correctly.
like different ways to use gel pens. So now we're going to move on to my second tutorial, which this is the character in your background. So I've drawn, so I've drawn some characters I'm going to show. I'm going to talk about where the lighting and the types of grays, because grays exclude, like, you know. But let's, let's just talk about, so you draw your character. You have your character in a place. Let's, let's say your character was in a, what the? Sorry if you see this smudge eye. The, the paper must have bled through. And, uh, but basically, forget this gray stuff, but pretend your character's in a sunset. And I'll give you a tip. If you want this sunset to be the primary focus, draw the characters like this. Yeah, it's a really bad character, but draw them in black because in real life, on it like a really vibrant sunset night, sunset, um, you actually can't when you look at people or like trees, they're gonna look pitch black because again, your we our eyes can't see a fully lit unless you're close to them, but like a fully lit, fully shaded character versus this whole background. It's kind of like um when someone like flash a camera on your face, you can't really see anything for one for a minute. It's kind of like that, but um, so the character is in all black, so the back, so the background stands out, and this is just your eyes. Like if I put trees here, they would have been black because in real life that's how to saw it. Because th this is so bright, you can't really see anything down here. Just, just you look, look at a sunset or like sunset pictures, and if there's trees, you're they're gonna look really black. So that's why the characters in black. Now. Or pretend you wanted um your character on a really snowy, cold night where there's trees. But you can see how different these are. This is with really warm colors. And this is with really cold gray-blue colors. And I'm going to, so, you know, like the rain. Pretend you have a really gray, like standard gray night versus a really cold night and I would do the cold cold night with blue because blue just gives this very cold feeling like you can see all the gray blues in here I use and look so like snow or your character is just a midday regular shading on a beach sunny beach or this very um and the oh, this is going to be a separate tutorial but like how you don't have to use just gray or like darker shade or like even colors that like an orange and you know purple to shade if you're in a sunset you can use because colors are they you can if you understand like color theory or like use colors how you identify colors like let's take when people see red or when you see red you think of anger right and you want to draw a very angry piece you could um put uh, red in there to really dramatize it. So this is what I did here. I'm thinking of a very romantic, funky night when I think of the the moon is shining pop yellow. The sky is like purple slash blue, and the the but the um the the um moon is illuminating some of the buildings and putting that yellow highlight and the buildings have the shadows are purple and but the main is uh magenta this actually i took this from chesho buyer which is in nmg's world the world i'm making this is what nighttime looks like there and because you know i love using color in different ways but this is going to be a uh this the this color thing is going to be different but i'm talking about if you had one of these backgrounds, like let's say this cold night, you wouldn't just shade the character, like if you had an orange character, you wouldn't just shade the character in this cold, cold night with a darker uh, orange because it's going to look off. Instead, you're going to shade the character with grays and gray blues from um light to dark and it will look he will look so much more in the background and that's what i did with trees they're not 
they have they have really dark green very they're they were faded down with gray the snow is to match the snowy cold vibe and you're gonna do and i'm gonna show you how to do that with the characters but first let's talk about um because gray i feel like it's such a great color so if you have a very cold night you're gonna use like grays and but blue grays which has a whole i showed this whole different section of dark blue grays and then just warm grays and dark grays and you're you you're mainly going to use the blues and the dark grays now if you're thinking well nmg i have a character who has very light colors like it's they're not like you know like they're like really canary yellow i can't just use this hella dark blue on them it will look so weird that's right you want a character like let's say um your character was canary yellow you would choose a softer or lighter version of that gray like this one and it will give a very green effect but like this one or even this one to shade it with because why would you shade? I, I showed you some. I'll show you some examples here. Um, if you have very light colors on a character, or like even in the back, uh, yeah, like a character, you would use these types to. This would be the darkest. This would be the lightest. This would be the mid tone of the character shading on it, so it won't look really weird. And you can do the faded look I just showed you on that character. But here's the like some of the light colors you could use. So I'm going to show you an example. All these examples. But first, let's talk about um, light source. Light source is like, let's take this character. That's me. That's that's NMG right there. If I had the the like the moon shining, that that would be the light source. Since coming, uh, oh, this is a better example. The light, the moon's here and it's shining down here. There'd be a highlight here on the face and i'll show you that so this dude is going to be in this cold environment because i just imagined wolves being in that environment so i'll color him normally but i'll leave a highlight for the like for the moon to shine down so let's see what are wolf's colors <sighs> i miss my uh workspace upstairs my sister's game with her friends so i had to um move Oh, this is a really light gray. I didn't actually want it to be that light, but who cares? But I'm going to leave highlights for on this side for the light source because the moon is shining down on me. And you could just leave, you know, color her all in and then use the highlight to make the light source. But I just think it looks kind of better because sometimes the gel pen absorbs the colors from below and it, it's like an off white which you want it to do when we're, we're like fading it down but if you want it to be pure white i just suggest leaving leaving something like this so color 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 i don't know if i'm gonna speed this part up because my editing skills are like when i mean trash i mean uh, really trash like i this the reason i'm not doing a voiceover is because frankly i don't know how to which i really don't care so i'm just trying to show uh my content to the world and so y'all, if you really, if you guys watch this video, please subscribe or not even subscribe. Like, don't just view it. Like, like, eh, like comment. Say, oh, oh, that was that was a really good. Like, I want to see your honest opinions. Is is what I'm putting out trash, or did you really enjoy it? Did it help you? You know, instead of just leaving a like or something. Oh, that's way too dark. Wow, way too light. And then just dipping. But, you know, comments are my favorite part about YouTube. Because it's not just a like where every, you know, it's the same. But, like, comments are different from each other. And also, they just, they really, you know, 
that you can someone can say, Oh my god, I love it so 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 much. I forgot to leave the light source there because I was busy talking, but um Yeah, so anyway, now that we've got our character's bases down, he's in this environment. So we're not just gonna color him with a this part with a darker red and this part with a darker gray and this part with a darker yellow. No, we're going to color him with blues and grays. Dark uh blue grays and you know so I'll show you an example. I'm trying to find the best uh um blue grays. Okay. So like this. Do you see how it looks different. It looks, it actually looks kind of realistic, like in shading. Now, I'm not covering this, which you could, which you, actually I'm going to cover that because it looks much better. But you could do that in lighter. And it just, it looks so much more like realistic because that's how lighting works. Like, you, like my skin might be brown, but it's not going to be shaded with a darker brown. Like, if I'm in a very intense like this, my I'm going to be shaded with, like, dark blues and stuff. So, this just, this, once I realized this, when, uh, um, I was drawing, actually, I was drawing a wolf at night and it was raining. And I'm like, well, I always mess up shading. I could never explain what I was messing up because I didn't find any tutorials on YouTube. I mean, there are great tutorials on YouTube. But that did basically show like this, but this, when I figured it out, I'm like, oh my God, this is so easy. Like, you know, now I'm going to come in darker with a, with a darker blue. And he just, he looks so much better than just, he looks, he looks actually in the background and in the environment instead of, cause I'm using dark gray blues to shade him than, um, just his like, take his colors and then now for his white I'm going to use a, a light a light um a light blue to shade because again the lighter the color is you don't just want to use the same like this hella dark 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 thing you want of course like this you can use the same as that because they're kind of like, but I'm not going, if this is a very, like white is like the lightest color. So you don't want to shade white with the same dark, dark color. Now, and also I'm, this is like, if, if he's like, the, I imagine the moon illuminating him. So he's going to be much lighter than if he was in like, a like really dark background so that's why he kind of looks much lighter than you know i intended because the moon's shining down once if the moon's shining down you can you look naturally lighter then so that's why he doesn't look like as dark as the trees because the moon is like really really shining down on him and now we're going to take this give him some highlights in the eyes and uh, jewels and take whatever light direction it is. Them, I imagine the moon shining down and just uh, gel penning. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing, but uh, gel penning my way around him, like where the light source is. I also show where the light source is, just like this, all the way around where the light source hits. Chicka bam, chicka bam. Get his teeth in, get his muzzle in. Uh, this side of his face is hit too, so that's a really crappy example. I'm trying to. It's really hard to draw on you, uh, camera. So, and again, this is an example of what I just said. Um, you see how it's kind of reddish because. Um, this gel pen's almost dead too, so that's why it's not like perfect. But now you can see 
he really does look like he's in a cold environment. Now, he's much lighter than this environment, but that's because the moon is really, really shining down on him. And I could actually make this side of him darker, like, to make it really exaggerate, like, this side is the one being, uh... Yeah, there we go. And then shade it really dark. Now, if you see, he looks like this side of him is like, this is really, the moon's shine illuminating this side, and this side's faded into like darkness. And, um, yeah, now we're going to show this because I feel like this one, um, this is, it's just like, you can, you can do the same, what I just said, like take an orange, like if your character's orange, you could just take a darker orange and it would look, cause this is like just regular daytime, but sunsets are different and I'll show you why. Sunsets are different because they're so vibrant that, first of all, you have, like, this character. I'm going to show you this character. You would have the, um, the, this sun shining, uh, oh, crap, I messed up the light source. Light source is supposed to be coming from here, but let's just... Pretend the light source is coming from here again. Um, you have that shine from the sun illuminating you. But also, um, uh, let's see. I don't want to make the character pink because, well, I mean, I could make the character pink, I guess. But, um, yeah, I could, I could make the character pink. So let me just color this in quickly. have a green tongue I dress oh that's way too dark but it doesn't matter um and then oh what oh I should talk about the types of grays so let's say you have like a really dark background but um pretend it's just a regular it's not like blue gray because it's not really cold it's just I don't know, you're in a forest and there's a bunch of green. I suggest using dark and green grays because there's so many different grays because it would naturally it would naturally look better with the green because green gray and it would just look like really much better. I don't really have that much examples because, you know, I don't have that much green grays. But anyway, I showed you what you could use. So light, like it, I, the reason I did him blue is because He's in a very dark blue background, so I used blue. And also, it just is really cold. But like, if I was in a, like, a nature, a nature dark background, I would have used dark green grays, light green grays, and just regular grays. So, but anyway, back to this character. Now, you can see if he's, he's in this, uh, um, the, the... The sun is illuminating him this way, but um, you, you don't just want to use a darker pink. I mean, you could because there's you want to see the colors in the sunset. Like, well, I see pink, orange, yellow, blue, purple. And you use those to shade them. So I could say, I hope this isn't a mistake, but I could say, well, I want to, wait, oh, that's, well, actually... Let's let's get a uh, lighter. So um, well, 
let's shade him with orange because there's orange in the sunset. And you could actually do him with a darker pink because like he's there's there's pink in this sunset. Or I could say, hey, I wanna I feel like orange or blue. So not uh I feel like purple is a really dark purple. I should probably get a lighter one. There's purple in the sunset, so I'll shade him with uh purple. Uh, you know, something like this. The orange kind of messed it up, but you know, you know what I'm getting on. Then you could use that darker purple in areas where there would be darker shading, like around here, and then on the tongue, I would use purple. And he kind of looks, this is kind of, I kind of messed it up a bit, but basically, use colors you see in the the uh sunset you're making and shade them with that so if you had a um i don't know a, oh, i'll show you with skin color but if you had a um a skin uh a white man looking at a sunset you could shade his skin with purple or um or orange or pink and then if you had it like a black person you could shade it with purple or um if it was like kind of like lighter, lighter uh, black, then if they're like extremely black, then purple because it's darker. Because you can't shine a really dark thing with light. You have to shine, you know. So, or you know, a really like a lighter black. I guess I don't. I the, the different spectrums of the skin color from lightest to darkest. You can, you can see what would match up. Like, uh, I don't know someone my skin color like this skin color you could shade with orange or or pink or uh yeah um purple so that it's really kind of bad because he looks muddy because of i put that hideous orange down don't use orange and pink but i'll show you this lady um a very white caucasian person well, his her skin color is kind of like alien because it's so bright. But let's just show you a quick example of this is pink. Oh, this is purple. But you could shade her with her skin color with purple, and then it could be it could get like darker purple. And it would look. Also, oh, I forgot to put the, um, I'll do it now. Forgot to put the. The, uh, rays of sun illuminating her. And then I don't know if she could have this color hair. I don't draw, uh, humans a lot, but I've been getting better at them. Uh, something like that. I don't know. You know, you, how, you see how her skin's shade with purple. Just test off to the side. Like, you know, I could take like, uh, this, pretend my dude's that color. Let's see, like, okay, well, does this match? Would this even go over it? Like, or what about a uh, real, a darker purple? Would that go over? And yes, it does. And then I could blend it out with this. And then, you know, that would work as my shading for this person's skin color. So like that. I'm not going to... It's a shame I couldn't color myself in. Because um, actually, what I'll show you example of just what I'm regular shading I should talk about. Dang, where is my skin color? Let's take me. And then that's pretty much my hair and eyebrow color. And also 
Uh, it's brown eyes, so. And then I always wear pink shirts and shit. Like pink is my favorite color, and then yellow. So I could, um, this would just be normal shading. Oh, I'm, take this color and let's find a, a darker color of that. And then shade it. Of course, mind your light source. Do oh, I could do the same with my oh, actually, I'll, I'll do a darker color for my hair, cause my it doesn't really look like my hair, but I don't know. Um, uh, I think no, that wouldn't work. This maybe that's too dark, but yeah, hell yeah, that's way too dark. Um, maybe this no. Nah. Dang it. Okay, maybe, yeah, this. I could, and then basically shade, oh, a darker color of this, and just like this. Maybe I could put some on my neck. That would be just regular shade. You take this color and then take a darker color of that and you use it as a shade. So these are the examples I showed you that the background affects, like the color of the background and backgrounds affect the shading you place on a character. Like he's, he's a really dark blue, gray, blue shading because he's in a dark blue, gray, blue environment. Um, he looks badass. I kind of, I wish I did much more darker, but you know, his skin, his, his fur color darker. Um, me, this is regular. I would be in this background. She would, she and he, which I, I wish I could show better examples, but basically all it is is when I showed, take your skin color or like your character's color, put them off, like draw their color on their side and then find a color in the sunset. Like if your character's uh, Caucasian, find like a, oh, with this pink, there's pink in my sunset. Let's try pink on this, like, you know, you know, character does it work, then yep, it does work and then color them their the their appropriate um skin color and then go over the pink just like I showed with the purple. So this dude looks muddy because I had to use hideous orange in it. But anyway, that is my example and on to this <clears throat> color what I like to say I wouldn't call it color theory, but let me let me clean up for actually I'll, I'll put those to the side because I'll shake the camera if I do that. But this. So who the person who's great on this, her name is Alba BBGG. She's on Tum she's on basically every art website. Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, Art Station, and her Actually, I can show you an example of her. Um, she uses... Oh, she also proves my point of, like, don't just... You don't just have to do a darker color. Like, let's take... This is, this is respectively hers, but, um... Her character, Grog the Frog, he, the, you know, he's wearing blue, with the, but the background is green blue. You could see the, it, the much darker, it's much darker blue, and then the sky is like a lighter blue, and there's green for the grass, there's green for him, and there's different shades and vibrancies of, in, you know, blue, uh, the blue and green, but, you know, it's mo, it, the, it's, everything's affecting it because, she used blue and green to shade this, the background, and blue and green in the sky, blue and green in his outfit, blue and green in, um, uh, the building, and even in the smoke, there's blue and green, and, um, let's see another one. Her, like, like, just the way she, like, I, she's part, she's my favorite artist. I love the stuff she draws. Um, uh, don't tell me that was it. Um, 
So again, there's clearly a color theme. She like her color themes just it she doesn't just use like purple and blue. She like takes um she takes like this is clearly has pink accents in it. I see pink, yellow. Like in her hair, there's clearly pink or magenta, which is a form of pink. I see kind of like purplish. These like her thighs here, they're like pinkish, purplish, and but if she's not only using pink and purple, like there's clearly skin colors in like brown and but she even like the glints on the swords are like they have pink highlight hints in them. And that's what I'm talking about when I mean this like could like this is a very romantic drawing. So she would use pink because when you, most people think of pink when they think of romantic and happiness. And she's just I can't explain, but she, like her her art is amazing. Not only because I love her style, her style is unique. The stuff she draws is detailed and but it's also just like her color theory is amazing i love this stuff you know it's fantasy it's beautiful it's cute it's she draws so many different things so i did something she would draw so um so but, but before we get into this let's just let's just see so i want to draw a drawing that's not i want to draw a drawing of like romance right kind of abstract romance i don't know but um so I think of red. This is just my personal. It could change depending on people. But when I think of red, I think of passion, anger, love, a purplish blue indigo, mysterious hiding, blue uh purple, magical mystery, lust, um pink, happy, love, sex, uh magenta or like a deeper pink, romantic, uh sunset um orange prideful beast animals green nature gross alien blue calm skies um yellow happy loud human bright moonlight um gray old you know i hate gray it's just it's so i love colorful colors and i hate gray of course it's great for shading and stuff but old same stale sad depressed and then this dark blue night rain sad mystery so let's take well ha i want this drawn to be happy romantic you know intimate you know i wrote that down love joy happiness intimacy and i look back i'm like well i think of this color when i think of love or romantic or intimacy I think of, you know, yellow as happiness, joyful. And then I think of, you know, I use some purple in there for, I don't know, maybe a bit of lust. I'm not sure. But um, so I have my, I take the colors and it's not that I'm only using those colors. I can't use anything else. Like, huh, this is a Bang Rock Dragon, a really crappy version of Bang Rock Dragon, which is, again, a race in NMG's world, and the, the coyote men are race in NMG's world, but, you know, we have this swirling background with the colors, so happiness, love, intimacy, but then she, this is actually, um, brown, but then I use pink to shade it instead of a darker brown, and I did the same thing with his, now, this is a really crappy example, but, you know, this is what I'm talking about, and I'll show you, let's pretend this would be normal, well, he's brown, so just take a darker brown and shade him. But I could say if he was in, I don't know, a, a mysterious background. His expression doesn't really give mystery. But if he was in a purple, mysterious, you're in a mysterious mood. The, the, the drawing's supposed to be, you know, magical mystery. I would take my my purple because i associate purple with magic and the background is also purple and i would shade him just like i did with the brown but with purple and look how kind of different like how much he he pops than him because it's you don't really see and and i mean you can see in all life like an apple you're not just going to find red in an apple you're going to find orange brown yellow in a realistic apple in a realistic drawing of an apple too and so yeah 
Is there anything else? No. Well, guys, um, I hope this helped. Uh, these tutorials, um, uh, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm working on. Uh, so this, this is NMG. This is Blue, my character, these other people. And these are just some humble townsfolk carrying this giant woman. Uh, Kim jong -gi, Um, he's one of my favorite artists. I love how he draws these. He, like, took doodles, but into an insane level. Like, he doesn't use a pencil. He just goes in with ink and does these incredible doodles. So that's what I did. I did um, the same thing. But with here, this is all... Oh, actually, I use some pencil sketch here. But but besides that, um, uh, this is just an example. Like, this was... That's why you see some of the marking lines. But it really does look like you did that with pencil and then erase. But no. that's This is all just going in with ink. And then with my fine liners. And then coloring it with watercolor and my markers. Anyway, I hope these... Uh, tutorials helped uh it was very fun making this and um well, i hope you learn from this and well i'll see you in the next video folks do not forget to like and subscribe and and please youtube leave a damn comment say oh thank you so much or that was pretty cool you know it would mean the world to me anyway NMG and Furious Werewolf, we're out of here, man.